you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, it understandably rocks your world. It's scary to find out. It alters your perception of yourself. And you have to make some decisions on what to do. First of all, that cancer that has been identified almost always has been there for years. And for many men, even 10, 20, 30 years. Almost always, they are slow growing although there are a subset that can be more rapidly growing. It's important to know there's rarely any urgency to race into any decision or any treatment, and anyone that tells you otherwise may have ulterior motives. For certain men, but not all, it's important to stage the cancer and obtain some additional scans to make sure it hasn't spread elsewhere. But most men are diagnosed with such an early stage prostate cancer with such a low likelihood of it spreading elsewhere that those scans are not warranted. If you've been diagnosed, it's important to have a long, comprehensive, detailed discussion on what your options are. And I typically set aside about 45 minutes for those discussions with men. The very first and most important fork in the road is determining whether the cancer warrants treatment because it might one day cause problems versus a whole bunch of other men where there's such a low likelihood of it causing problems that we initiate surveillance or monitoring of the cancer, which has superb long-term effects when men are appropriately guided down that path. If surveillance is the way to go, there are many variations of surveillance, but in essence, the hope and the goal is to monitor and never need anything done, and many moons from now, you die of something else. But you monitor, and if the cancer ever changes in a meaningful way, you can intervene at that time, as long as the man is still reasonably healthy, with a really high likelihood of success. Now, the other path is treatment after the di initial diagnosis of the cancer. And there are many different treatment options available. There's surgery, almost always done robotically. There are many forms of radiation therapy, external beam radiation therapy, which can be IMRT or proton therapy. There's brachytherapy, which are radioactive pellets. And a third form of therapy is ablative therapy. And there are many options out there in clinical trials and outside of clinical trials using different energies, such as ultrasound waves, freezing techniques, lasers, and many others to try to ablate or destroy part of the prostate. For an individual man, sometimes there's one obvious path forward and I make a clear recommendation. For many other men, there are multiple good options, and it's my job to download as much useful information to them and provide all the nuance and detail on the pros and cons of each approach. And many times, it's really up to the man to decide individually which path he would like to go forward. I often and routinely recommend getting second opinions, meeting with radiation specialists, if they're interested in learning more about that approach, and ultimately finalize a sensible decision going forward.